Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my new online series, Travels with the Royal Butler and on occasions the Royal Dachshunds. And the idea of this series is to go around visiting interesting and unusual places that you might like to see and give you a little bit of history, a kind of history tour, if you like, because that's one of my personal passions. And of course, that is the, the same with the Royal Dachshunds. They love visiting unusual places. And today they're not with me because I have come to Sirencester and it's raining. So obviously when it's, when it's raining, Dachshunds prefer to stay inside where it's dry. But for me, I've got the opportunity to visit Sirencester Abbey, which is this building just behind me. And I'm about to go and have a little look around and we can do it together because you're gonna come in with me and uh, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about the history. But what I do know about this building is the Abbey was founded in 1117. So it's been around for quite a few years. Uh, I'm not quite that old, thankfully, but um, I'm catching up. Right, now I've just got to work out where the front door is. Hmm. Sirencester Abbey or St Mary's Abbey in Sirencester, Gloucestershire was founded as a monastery in 1117. It's on the site of an earlier church, in fact it's believed to be in the oldest known Saxon church in all of England. And prior to that church, it's said that there was a Roman structure many years before. You may notice one or two Christmas trees and of course this is due to the fact we filmed this over Christmas. I'm quite glad now I didn't bring Shumba the Royal Dachshund along with me because he would automatically assume that there's Christmas presents under each tree just for him. Could you imagine? Trinity Chapel you see now dates from 1440 and was endowed for a priest of the nearby abbey to say masses for the souls of kings and queens. And now we enter the Lady Chapel which was built as a standalone chapel in 1240 and altered in the 1450s. There's quite a few tombs in here including that of a Thomas Masters whose family acquired the abbey after the dissolution of the monasteries. Next we enter the Catherine Chapel which dates from the 1300s. Sadly some of the wall paintings here were painted over in 1539. mentioned that the abbots were known for their learned writings and skills with herbal medicines. Mm -hmm. 